This Use a Play is brought to you by. You got an upgrade for Christmas. If you're feeling lucky, you could win some money. An upgrade for Christmas. $200,000 in cash and prizes. With Lime, you could win some money. Upgrade. It's Lime's Christmas Lottery. 250 winners this Christmas, oh yeah. Sign up for upgrades to super fast broadband, Lime TV, e billing, a data plan, top up $15, purchase a handset, or text 4263 to enter. Welcome to the Barbados Today Evening Update. It's Tuesday, December the 23rd, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. It may appear on the surface to be the billion dollar Christmas gift that all Barbadians have been wishing for. But on the heels of yesterday's offer by two British billionaires to provide the financial backing the island needs for a major international bond offering, former Prime Minister Owen Arthur is wagging his caution finger at the government, advising it to politely turn down the proposal. Arthur makes it clear that what's on offer is by no means a gift, but a loan, which he says would only worsen the country's mountain debt situation. While he believes British billionaire Andrew Stewart and his business partner Stuart Fordham have good intentions, he maintains that there are no fairy godfather solutions to the island's economic woes. They're not promising to give us a grant, mm -hmm. but to help us raise money in the market so that it will still be a loan to the government of Barbados. And potential investors will obviously, in making the determination, as to whether they will subscribe to it, will take account of the what the rating agencies have said about the words of the credit worthiness of the bonds to which they've been asked to subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, I would think the government would be well advised to continue to do what is try to do what is necessary to restore Barbara's credit rating and credit worthiness. Because as I said, any potential investor now would be skeptical about investing, no matter who's backing it, in the bonds unless the credit rating is restored. I also want to make the point that if there are people of a private sector nature, private sector people, who want really to help my business, then they need to have that kind of money to invest themselves, that they should be looking to invest in private sector projects mm. where they carry the risk and get the returns rather than ask the government to be the borrower and transferring the risk to the government. Meantime, two economists are also cautioning the government on the offer. Opposition spokesman on the economy, Dr. Clyde Maskell, does not believe the offer makes financial sense at this time, given the country's international credit rating. President of the Barbados Economic Society, Jeremy Stephen, also says the government needs to fully understand the payback terms before even considering such an offer. It will take some time before Barbados's bread and butter industry can soar again. So says former hotelier Edward Robinson, who insists that a number of areas need addressing before the island can effectively compete with other destinations. Speaking to Barbados today, Robinson said the country needed to get its fiscal house in order and raise productivity so as to get the vital industry back on its feet. Meantime, there are fresh calls for parts of the island's health services to be privately managed. It comes from economist Ryan Strawn, who tells Barbados today the government could cut its spending by turning over some areas, including laboratory services, to the private sector to operate. He also suggested that the island joins the OECS Pharmaceutical Procurement Services as a means of managing the cost of delivering health care at the QEH and polyclinics. Six or seven countries get together and they pool um, the purchasing of drugs for all for the health system across the OECS. I think that in order for us to resolve our, this problem over the long term, we need to engage that kind of program where the purchasing of, because obviously they're doing it for obvious reasons, you buy you buy the, the, the drugs, in, uh, not this, it's, it's, sorry, it's not, just, it's not just drugs, it is the actual, uh, you know, alcohol and sutures and gloves and all, all the stuff that goes into to, to delivering healthcare. So all those things are, are bought in bulk along with the medications. But the point is, engaging in that kind of program um, with the OECS, because it will benefit them, it will benefit us, because clearly we, are adding, we, are, we will be adding to the pool 
bring any costs down. Dismissed Methodist priest Reverend William Sinclair, better known as the Barefoot Pastor, is appealing last week's High Court decision to throw out his case against the church. Last Wednesday, the High Court dismissed St. Clair's application on the grounds that he did not have a strong case against defendants, the Reverend Cuthbert Edwards, who is president of the South Caribbean District of the Methodist Church in the Caribbean and Americas, two church stewards and two church entities. St. Clair has now put forward nine reasons to persuade the appeals court to issue a new order in his favor this time. The controversial cleric who drew the ire of the local church for breach of contract, including conducting services barefooted, wants the appeals court to reject the high court's order and put it on hold until a fresh one is made. In sports now, Barbados' Megan Best finishes third at the 2014 U.S. Junior Squash Open in Connecticut. Competing in the under-13 category, Best, the current Barbados and Caribbean under-13 champion, came back from Love 2 down in her epic quarterfinal match yesterday versus the number five seed Avni Arnand to win of, in five pulsating games, 8-11, 4-11, 11-9, 11-7, 11-5. then lost to the same player who beat her in the Canadian Open in her semi-final match yesterday evening, going down to the number two seed Marina Stefanoni, 5-11, 9-11, 3-11. Undeterred by her semi-final setback, however, Megan took to the course this morning full of confidence and won again in straight games against yet another seeded player, this time the number three seed, Lucia Becknell, 11-7, 15-13, 11-8 in a tense contest. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Sun power. To the Bahamas now, where the police commissioner serves notice that his force is on top of crime in the country. This as police continue investigations into the murder of a 17-year-old girl who went missing last Thursday. Her death brings the country's murder count to 118. Commissioner Ellison Greenslade says his officers are investigating all leads to ensure that the culprit is apprehended. Those people out there, um, um, if they're still out there, anybody else uh, will certainly know now that we are fixated in the direction that we're going and we're not going to be distracted. We know uh, the direction we're looking in and we're going to be very, very deliberate all day today. We were very deliberate overnight and hence we were able to take someone into custody and we will be deliberate going forward today. And finally, on the international scene, France deploys 300 soldiers around the country to boost security over the Christmas period. The stepped-up police presence and military patrols follows recent attacks in several areas which left more than 20 people injured. That's where we end our Barbados Today evening update. We will be back again tomorrow morning. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb Subscribe to our e-paper and email updates or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune into Channel 101 on Lime TV to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic evening. This news update is brought to you by... I won! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me. To me. For me. Uh -uh. Yes. You don't need speakers, right? Upgrade to win every week with Line. Sign up for Line TV or broadband or purchase an iPhone 6 or Samsung Note for Upgrade Christmas with Lime.